the war between Israel and Hamas is still a strong issue between, uh, before the United Nations. The determination of the Council is to see to the entrenchment of a temporary humanitarian ceasefire. This is as the Hamas health minister in Gaza says Israel killed 100 Palestine in one day. We have more in this report. The United Nations Security Council ceasefire motion talks are set to resume. Israeli President Isaac Herzog says his country is ready for another humanitarian ceasefire. Gaza's health ministry says Israel's attack in only one day have killed about 100 Palestinians and wounded hundreds of others. Aid agencies have voiced anger and frustration over the continued plight of civilians in Gaza ahead of the vote. On the flip side, the U.S. says it is working with other members on the ceasefire text, but it has vetoed previous resolutions. Since the start of the war, President Joe Biden has made it clear that he wants to see a revitalized Palestinian authority take charge in Gaza once the conflict is over. First and foremost, I am President Biden's representative, and so it's important for me to be able to translate uh, and to articulate his vision, his policies, his decisions, and I'm very proud to do that. Um, uh, obviously, it does come from uh, a personal place for me too, uh, and uh, and it goes way back to my own childhood. Uh, my little league baseball coach, his last name literally was Mensch, uh, <laughs> Dick Mensch, um, and uh, the first Jewish man I ever uh, met. And he was, in every respect, a mensch. He was a great coach and a, a great friend of my father's uh, and a terrific mentor of mine. And, um, and it started way back then and then all, all the way through all my, my Catholic school, my Catholic upbringing. Um, uh, I learned to respect uh, the Jewish faith, the Jewish people, um, the existence of Israel as a nation, how important that is. So, I mean, it certainly does. I'm, I'm not going to lie and say it doesn't come from my heart, too. It does. But most and most importantly and the people of israel need to know that it's really joe biden's heart it's really joe biden's affection for israel it's his respect for israel uh, that all these policies are emanating meanwhile the leader of hamas has arrived in cairo for talks on a fresh ceasefire in gaza he says hamas is open to sit with the palestinian president mahmoud habas to talk with him and with all palestinian factions as a priority to stop the aggression and on how to deal with the situation either in the west bank or gaza in order to rearrange the palestinian home for one political system and one authority on the global front, the International Labour Organization has published a report looking at how Israel's war on Gaza has affected the labour market and livelihoods of those living in the occupied Palestinian territories. The report says the ongoing hostilities in Gaza are incomparable to previous ones as the destruction brought upon lives and livelihoods has been colossal. Hamas broke through Israel's heavily guarded perimeter on October 7th, killing 1,200 people and taking 240 hostage, some of whom were released during a brief truce. Nearly 20,000 people are now reported to have been killed and more than 52,000 injured in Gaza since the start of the war.